everyone, Kaylee, your friendly neighborhood hairstylist here with just some hairstyles. Today, we're gonna do some short braided hairstyles. Let's go. Okie dokie. I have realized that since I cut my hair a little shorter, I've been doing less braids. And as soon as I realized that, I was like, you know what? This is a challenge accepted moment. So I just want to play around today and try some different braided hairstyles on my short slash medium hair and see what we come up with. I think these will be great for summer, whether you're celebrating indoors and posting your pictures online or social distancing outside, it'll be great. So all that said, let's get into it. <laughs> For the first one, I wanted to try this hairstyle that I saw on TikTok because I have a problem. <laughs> For this first one, we're actually gonna do just a little twist. You can do it with some Dutch braids if you want. I'm gonna start with the center part. And then I'm just gonna take a little diagonal part here and that's what I'm going to be putting up. And to keep myself from making a mess, I'm going to clip everything else. So uh, I saw this trick on TikTok and I wanna see if it will work for this. Basically, you stick your uh, tool of choice up and into the hair. You twist it around, pick up some new hair, twist it around, pick up some new hair, down and around, down and around. There we go. Down and around, down and around. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. We're doing it. Would I ever do this on a client? No. Did it work on me? Mostly. <laughs> Oh, that's really funny. Okay, so it kind of worked. I'm gonna say no. Okay, let's do it with an actual braid now. Do I wanna do this with rope braids or just twists? Okay, I'm gonna show you both. If you wanna just do it the easiest possible way, we're gonna just do a little twist. You're gonna start with a section of hair up here, twist it away from your face, and then you grab a tiny bit more hair, put it with your section, and twist. Grab a little bit more hair, and twist. And then twist the last little bit and boom. Then you're gonna take your bobby pin and pin up and into the twist like it's going through a tunnel. And there you go. And now let's just try the rope braid side of things just to show you guys the difference and to make it an actual braid. So you start with your same section up in the front. You split it into two. And then for a rope braid, you twist the hair in one direction and wrap in another. So we're going to twist towards the face and then wrap away, twist towards, Wrap away, towards, and away. And now you just start picking up hair like we did before. So you're gonna pick up a little section of hair, put it with the bottom piece, twist, and wrap. Then another little piece of hair, put it with the bottom piece, twist, and wrap. And you just keep doing that until all the hair from your section is in the braid. This does feel like almost the exact same thing as what I did on the other side, just a little bit more extra. And I know some of my braidaholics are extra, so I think that works. Alrighty, and now that the braid is done, we're gonna bobby pin again. Which one do I like better? Cause I have to redo one of them so they match. Oh, sissy. Yeah. I need your input. Which one do you like better, the twist or the rope braid? Mm, twist. Oh yeah? Yeah, I do. The only thing is that you can't really get rid of like this ridge here. Can you create more of a ridge on this side? No. Maybe actually like this side better, just like loosen up opposite ones. Anna Laura has said to fluff, we are fluffing. Alrighty, well now you know the easier version, which is the twist, but I am going to go ahead and do the braid on this side so that the video is still appropriately titled. So we're still gonna twist toward our face and then wrap away. Twist towards, wrap away. All right, I think this might actually look a little cuter with some hair ties on the end. So I'm going to do little clear elastics. Yeah. So I guess that's also the difference between bobby pin and hair tie. I think this is cute and youthful and then this one's a little bit more just subdued. So whichever one you like the most, I'd go for that. I don't think that the pigtails go with my outfit. I'm gonna take the hair tie off and put the bobby pin back in and then this hairstyle will be complete. I feel like I just gave you guys like three different versions of the same hairstyle. Welcome to Kaylee Melissa where we can't decide on one thing so we do them all. All right, and that is our first hairstyle. It's cute, it's quick, it's easy, it will help Help disguise some roots. I think it's really good for video calls too. 10 out of 10, recommend. Okay, so now I've been seeing this hairstyle all over Instagram and TikTok. I have yet to try it and it's just to braid 
your little tendrils. So I'm going to keep my middle part and I'm gonna take a little piece of hair right here and I'm gonna go ahead and put it where I want my hair to fall. So I think I want my braid to come slightly forward and down right here. I'm gonna put my fingers right there and split it into three and then I'm gonna start braiding. I'm gonna keep the braid a little bit on the looser side. So I've seen this with kind of a significant amount of hair in here and then I've seen it with like the tiniest of micro braids. I feel like I'm right in the middle of the two but you know you just kind of do whatever you feel with that one. I think it's a little too big. I'm gonna do it again, tiny bit smaller section. And then I'm just gonna loosen that up. Not too much, we're not fluffing it, we're just letting it breathe. And then you could do a clear elastic or you could tease the end to hold it in place. I'm gonna do a clear elastic. I feel like that's gonna be the safest. And I'm gonna use these itty bitty little guys. Uh, full disclosure, these hair ties did not come in that tub. I saved them from something else so that I could put them in there and hopefully contain them so they don't end up everywhere around my apartment because that's how it happens. I don't want it to be sticking so straight still, so I'm loosening the elastic a little bit and then I'm going in and loosening the braid some more. There we go. Now I feel like it's hanging more and it's not like as straight, so it looks a little bit more natural, which I'm a fan of. Now you do the same thing on the other side. One thing I did on this first side that I think helped a lot is I did a diagonal section so now I have a triangle, and when you take your hair down to this side and you braid it, then you don't end up with any scalp showing. So if you, like me, prefer to avoid like scalp lines, that's what you do. And then the reason that you need to start your braid in the way that you want the whole thing to lay is that it is going to lay whichever way you start with. That was a lot of A sounds. I think that made sense though. So if you start the braid and you start doing it this way, it's gonna be this way when you finish it. So if you want it to lay nicely on the side of your face, you need to hold it in the line that you would like it to fall so that it does. I can feel the coffee wearing off, guys, and I feel like I have a hard time talking, like putting words together when the coffee's starting to die off. Anybody else experience that? And elastic, fluffed versus not. You see what I mean? So to fluff, I'm literally just grabbing on each side of the braid and pulling it apart like you're loosening shoelaces. And I think the way that you wear this is probably a little bit more like beachy, cool than I'm dressed right now because it's a very like bohemian beachy hairstyle. I would either leave it all down with the tendrils if you're really pulling off like surfer girl vibes or you can do a little ear tuck. I think this is probably a little bit more me. Back combing my hair with my fingers a little bit, hold a little piece of hair, pull the rest back up. Fluff it. You can also do that with some texturizing spray, but I've got some more hairstyles to do and I'm not trying to load my hair up with products. There's your little double tendril braid moment. I like it. I used to just put random braids in my hair all the time, so this feels very nostalgic and cute to me. And I mostly love it for summertime, like with a swimsuit on a beach somewhere. Even if that beach is actually just a kiddie pool in your yard, swimsuit and braids. All right, and now we're moving on and I'm going back to my slightly side part. So for this one, I wanted some kind of spring, summer, minimally festival vibes, even if it's just for Couchella, you know? So I thought it'd be fun to throw in some fishtail braids. Like we're just gonna throw in all the braids today. We're gonna go like a little bit Daenerys Targaryen, but make it fishtail. So two sections on one side and they're gonna come back like this. So I got these two sections already, so I'm just gonna go and clip those. Don't wanna lose them. And then same thing over here. If your hair is a little bit shorter, then mine, one way that you can kind of cheat the double braid thing is just starting a little bit further back because the hair doesn't have to be that long to reach back. And then with this one, you might just have to turn it into a lace braid and just pick up some little hair as you go so that you have enough to get there. And if you do that, it will literally be Daenerys' hairstyle, <laughs> except with fishtails. So starting on this side, I'm gonna take my top section and fishtail braid it. And just like in our last hairstyle, you want to braid in the direction that you want the braid to lay. So I'm gonna hold it at that angle, split it into two, and fishtail braid. I'm just gonna take a quick little break, put a bobby pin in, and fluff this apart. And now back to braiding. I like to do a little break every now and then with fishtail braids because they're easier to fluff if you do it as you go instead of waiting to the very end. It's just hard to get slack in these braids and you need a little bit of that to be able to pull it apart. Also, sometimes when you fluff it apart, the braid gets a little longer. That means you don't have to braid as much. Gonna hold it with a bobby pin, 
fluff it again and we will have one of four down. And then I think it actually might be cool to do a three strand braid here instead of the fishtail. So I'm gonna mix that in. I think mixing braids is a really easy way to make a hairstyle look more complex and intricate. I don't know if it's the random flex of like, I know how to do more than one braid or if it's just all the different layers that it creates, but I do think it can make things look really, really cool. Also switching to a three strand braid makes it a lot faster and easier. I like that. I like that for side one. Let's do the same thing on side two. And now all the sections are done, we can assemble them into the final hairstyle. But also like, don't they look cool just hanging down? I mean, it's a look, it's a look and a half, but. So now what I wanna do is bring all the braids together and a new piece of hair into one little ponytail so that it looks like you pulled the braids back and there was extra hair there to create a ponytail with instead of these tiny little nubbin pieces because those don't look so cute when you just leave them there. To make everything a little easier for myself, I'm going to start with the fishtails and I'm gonna secure those. Then I'm gonna secure the braids. Then I'm gonna pull it all together with some extra hair and one more elastic. It's a lot of elastics, but I think it's gonna keep me from getting confused. I decided to add a little gold cuff to the elastic just to hide the elastic, but also to make the hairstyle a little bit blingier. And that's the whole thing. It's both chill and a little bit festival -y and a little bit intricate, and I love that. And now this one is a low ponytail option because I love rocking the little tiny ponytail with my short hair. I think it's really cute. First thing I'm gonna do is take back just a chunk of hair. Probably like leave some little face framing layers, just an absolute chunk on each side and secure it with an elastic. Then topsy it. So just twist this around and loosen it up. Then I'm gonna put a little bit of hair around this elastic. This part is optional. Now we're doing the same trick from last time-ish. We're gonna pick up some more hair, put it with that little tiny bit of a ponytail we've got going on, and you're gonna braid it. I think I wanna fishtail braid it because I felt like it. But of course you can do a three strand braid if you prefer, maybe even a rope. I mean, go crazy, do what you want. I'm doing a fishtail braid. And now I'll secure it with the bobby pin and I'm gonna pull it apart some more. And now I'm taking a real elastic and I'm gonna pull it all to the back. And you just wanna place this low enough that you can still see some braid but at whatever height you feel is cutest. Like if you go a little higher up, it'll be a little perkier. If you go a little lower, it'll sit flatter to your neck. So whatever you prefer in there. Alrighty, I added a little scrunchie and this hairstyle is done. I have a quick tip though that I didn't mention. And that is when you pick up the hair to add into the ponytail, make sure you pick up hair that is growing up here, not down here. The reason for that is that the first time I did this, I had the hairs going almost horizontally into the braid and when I pulled it apart and I tried to put it in a ponytail, it just didn't look right. So I did it again, picking up the hair from up here, totally different vibe. So I wanna make sure you guys know that. I like this one because I've been looking for more ways to wear my hair up with a braid and this is a really good one. It would also be great for essential workers. I mean, keep the tendrils out of your face, but it gets your hair up, but allows you to have some extra little loop going on if you know, maybe you've been doing the same hairstyle and you want a little something different. For my last hairstyle, I shall attempt a top knot with my short hair. So, I already know I'm not gonna be able to film this next part with my big camera. I'm gonna need some help from my sissy, Anna Laura. Hello. Do you wanna be on camera? Sure, I don't really have any makeup on, but hi guys. She's gonna grab a little phone cam footage of me doing an upside down braid on myself. I got y'all. First thing that I'm gonna do is actually section off what I'm going to be putting in the braid. Basically a mohawk section on the back of your head. So I basically just put my fingers behind my ears and brought them up till they met together at the very top of my head. And we're basically gonna pretend like we're making a half up do and brush all that up into a ponytail so it's out of the way and already ready for the bun. Multitasking. 
and Alara has been teaching me things like keeping a comb in my mouth. I don't know if that's what I want my name on. <laughs> She's already cute. I would just stop here, but we have a whole hairstyle to do. So I'm gonna flip this forward, put a little clip in it, and then we're gonna braid. First, let's talk about the braid. So you're gonna flip your head upside down so that gravity is working with you and not against you. You want a tiny, tiny section at the beginning, like the tiniest, because where the bottom of that section is, or the top in this case, is where the braid is gonna start. So if you start with a big old section that takes up the bottom half of your head, the braid's not gonna start till right here, which you don't want. If you find this really, really difficult, I would actually spray your hair with a little bit of water because wet hair is a lot more easy to manipulate than dry hair. That being said, let's do this. And now we flip. Oh, here's the other thing, we gotta comb it. crazy. <laughs> All right, guys, guess what? I did it. Yeah. And I'm leaving the hairstyle like this. Okay, so I think, I think just in the name of keeping things easy, I'm going to just put another elastic around both of these guys because I'm afraid if I take this one out and try to resecure it, then this stuff is going to go crazy and like just no, we're not accepting that energy today. But because I already have one giant elastic on my hair, do a clear elastic. All right, I think I'm going to do a tiny bit tiny bit of pulling apart. The other thing that I didn't say, but you definitely wanna think about while you're doing this braid, is you wanna keep it tight. You wanna feel like you're pulling on your hair a little bit. Not enough that it hurts or anything, but you should feel some tension. This little ponytail's kinda cute. I'm not gonna lie, she cute, I'm into it. But we set out to make a top knot, and a top knot we shall have. For the bun, I'm going to back comb this hair. If you guys have been around, you know what I'm doing here. You can do whatever bun style you like, but for making my shorter hair into a bigger bun, I like to do this whole back combing situation. I mean, go for fluff as much as possible, like that. We're gonna go back like this, pin it in place. Then I'm just gonna wrap part of it around, pin it in place. Basically wrap it around to make the shape that you want. And then treat it like a pin cushion and stick it full of bobby pins. Okay, I went off camera and adjusted it a little bit when I could see it in the mirror, but uh, guys, I feel like I'm catfishing people. Like I look like I've got long hair, but I don't. And that is a top knot for short slash medium hair. I'm excited about this. You don't need 5,000 bobby pins for your baby hairs. They're braided up, they're gonna stay, your hair is up, I mean. Not only is this great for mixing up your routine, this is great if you need to have your hair up for your job. I'm here for it, I'm so excited about it, I will be wearing this again. <laughs> and that has been five braided hairstyles for short hair. I wanted to do something different, I feel like I accomplished it, what did you guys think? What were your favorite hairstyles and what should I do next? Let me know in the comments down below. I really did want to kind of inspire myself as well as you guys to try new ways to braid your short hair. So this has been a lot of fun for me. I hope you enjoyed it as well. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button to help support my channel. And if you're new here, you can hit that subscribe button to join the Braidaholic family here on Kaylee Melissa. And every single one of you, all of you, mm -hmm, I is here. And click that bell icon to be notified every time I post a new video. Click the bell, click every time, you'll be notified every time I post a new video. But that is it for today. Whether you're old or new or a casual lurker, thank you for spending time with me and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah! Bye! I don't know what this hair, what? I don't know. I'm a little loopy. It's my second cup of coffee. Now, you want to make an identical sec- Identical? Identical! That's like when you click on something for the recipe and then it's like, let me tell you my life story of growing up on a farm. I really just want to know how to make chili.